I rather enjoyed the saga of Wind Wagon Smith. There were certain character actions that I didn't think were particularly perfect, but generally I found this animation to be quite delightful. This is, of course, a Disney short released in 1961, directed by Charles A. Nichols. And I say it is a short. It is about 12 minutes, 13 minutes in length, which is longer than your average Disney short. But it packs so much in. It's a very detailed narrative. And Wind Wagon Smith was a sea captain and he approaches Westport in Canvas. And he is planning to um, sail, if you like, the prairies. He's taking a different angle. And when he arrives in his wagon, the town think that he is quite peculiar. It's a... Now, I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. But is it a Contestoga wagon? I've never heard of that before. I did a very quick Google to see what it was like or what it looked like when it wasn't being animated. But the townsfolk think that this is quite weird. But he actually begins to get people on his side. He gets the mayor on board. He falls in love with the mayor's daughter. He has a team of people helping him to create this, this ship-like contraption. And I won't see what happens after that. But he's a very interesting character, is Windwagon Smith. And the way he talks to other people and the way other people perceive him. And the way their perceptions change as the narrative progresses. I found it to be quite pleasant. The narrative itself was interesting enough, but what I liked partly was the animation. And the other thing that I liked was the music. I thought the music in this was very quite um, kind of addictive, actually. Um, I wanted to watch it again as soon as I finished it, just to listen to the songs. Um, the singers are apparently the Sons of the Pioneers. I haven't heard of them, but I can be sure that I will be looking more into their work because I did find the vocals to be very, very delightful. Uh, it's narrated by Rex Allen, and I think the, the combination of the narration and the music really carried this narrative forward. And Windwagon Smith is a character I found to be really quite delightful and very fascinating. Very fascinating as an individual. The narrative, as I said, for me was kind of secondary. You know, I wasn't emotionally invested that much with what would happen, um, what his journey would end up being, what the wagon would end up being like. I wasn't that bothered. But it was certainly well developed enough and interesting enough that it kept me engaged. But the music and my curiosity over the personality of the sea captain of, of Wayne Wagon Sam and keen to see what he would do next certainly carried this narrative forward. If you're a Disney fan or a fan of animation, I think it's one you will really enjoy. As I said, it's a little bit longer than your average short from Disney, so it's definitely a lot more detailed. They certainly didn't just stretch out a short that could have been condensed. I think they pack in quite a lot, and it's quite delightful. I certainly had a lot of fun with it. It's one that I will probably watch again at some point.